Hey, hey, Spring Love Simply Tara. Okay, special message time. This is going to be for the sign of Sagittarius. So if you have Sagittarius in your birth chart, this may be a reading for you. The readings are timeless. If they do not resonate with you, don't try to make them fit your life. You have to put yourself where you belong in these readings. Also, I may see a sign as Sagittarius, but you may resonate with one of the other signs. If so, that's meant for you. Cross watchers, this reading could be for you. Sagittarius, please. For Sagittarius, please. For Sagittarius, please. Whoo! Sagittarius. Some, someone's coming from a place of pain, feeling a lot of pain, burden, just past. Um, it's as if someone was treaded upon. There's a, um, a real sense of pain with this card. You see, there's blood. I mean, it's, it's just a feeling of utter pain someone has felt it feels like they have found their balance it's like they they are standing now they are balancing their life temperance is here because there's a feeling that someone's being guided for some of you you're not seeing the signs you need to look for others of you, you are seeing them and you know you're being guided. Um, I feel like this is through numbers. This could be through something with the sky, something on the ground. That could be f feathers or rocks or flowers that are out of the ordinary or also animals, I feel like. And with synchronicity. Um, you're being guided to stay on your path. Stay on your path. Someone, um, it's like they've, they've found their path. After coming from a place of misery. And, you know, it's like they're moving forward. They're moving up. Their, things are looking up for them. You're, you know, you're being told if you are that person to stay on that path. You see the crown, the sun. You're being guided to stay on that path. Keep your balance. Feels like someone's going through a something has clicked to. It's like put them in a, a different mind frame or something. That's what I'm getting. Like, like bringing back the past. Something has clicked or something. It's almost like, well, yes. There's a feeling that someone, for some of you, there was a dream that has made you start thinking about the past. But this was, okay, for some of you, this was a dream from the past, not this past, a past life. Now, if you don't believe in a past life, well, 
that's you know that's not for you but yes for some of you this was a dream from a past life and this has this dream was to help you in some way but for some they're feeling a sense of past but yet they're putting in their mind their past and they're looking on their past and that's not what spirit was trying to do wanting to happen in other words so you know it's like this person or people it feels like they're now looking at their past too clearly they're seeing it too much they're um it's it's like it's bringing down their vibration and putting them in a place of kind of you know depression mode so to speak yes you know it feels like for this person this person has they have someone coming in someone coming towards them or someone in their life that is going to offer them what they've been if I'm seeing the star card someone's made a wish someone has asked for something well they're there they may not be giving yet or they may not have come in yet but they're around this person is some of you are looking for them some of you are looking for your wish some of you also others of you you know you had the past creep back up for some of you that's because of dreams for others you know just different things that happen that brings your past up um, but you're you're turning your back to the past that's a good thing but for some of you this is you looking to see if your wish is coming okay I'm being told to put it down here oh I see why okay it's like they're splitting it off okay this is someone they see it's like they want to plant or they want to nourish a, a relationship with you they want to have something with you but they see you they see you nourishing and nurturing yourself in growth and your life and your family they're, they're seeing that okay like I said turn your back to the past don't get stuck yes okay this goes here because you know for some of you for some of you this is what you are kind of letting yourself do is get stuck after this comes about either from dreams or something you've seen or something you've heard or could be uh, communication something brings about the past do not let this happen you know look forward don't get stuck don't cover your eyes don't stay there see the past for what it is and uncover your eyes and look forward and also this goes here because this person well they've been doing healing work themselves on themselves and it feels like they don't they may many of them don't even know it um, and they have been stuck for some of them it is being stuck in old ways and habits and it's like they are coming out of that yes to be the knight of cups to to offer something to you to you know want to go forward with this it's like they had to work on themselves yeah judgment okay some of you are coming out of a karmic something for some of you that's cycles for some of you that's karmic relationship um, 
but for many of you this connection is a soul connection and that is why some of you had a dream you may not even remember the dream you know you dreamed and you know whenever you awoke it was like there was a sense of looking on your past you just may have wondered why why am I and you were down feeling down you know and and maybe wondering why am I looking back at the past what what's got you know the dream was showing you the past past the past life with your person and and you know it feels like there was a reason for it to be shown whether you remember it or not you know subconscious so yes for some of you this is a past life relationship with this person and some of you may be like I said ending a karmic relationship with someone else you are being guided Rem remember what I said if you don't know you're being guided start looking for the signs yes You know, it feels like both of these people have kind of, you know, been being the hermit in a way. Um, and it feels like for you now, after this looking back on this past, this is the safest space for you. Kind of pulling to yourself, collecting yourself. And, you know, if you have tears that need to fall because of your past, let them fall. That is healing. And it feels like this person, you know, if they're in your life already, may have not been, you know, very, very um, forthcoming with any, um, any feelings or emotions or, you know, to make you think that they would have this feeling for you. But this person has two been healing and working on themselves and that you know that has put them in a hermit mode so to speak um, there is communication I feel for some of you for others of you no there's no communication because this person hasn't arrived yet Queen of Wands one of our people this is someone intuitive, someone who can grow something. They like to grow something. Um, it feels like someone who loves flowers and animals. I'm seeing the high priestess. Um, this is someone that's gifted. But it's like they're newly coming into it. So they may not yet understand it all. This will be a new journey. This will be um, taking a leap. Because of the past hurts. Because it feels like this person has been hurt too. That is, that is why they, you know, partially why they've been stuck. They have these ways of thinking and these patterns due to, it feels like, being hurt in the past but this card I feel like this full card is here because it's showing you you have you have you know you have choices in paths um, and it's all about you know taking a leap um, it's it's all about wanting a new beginning this is like being offered you're going to be offered a new beginning starting from scratch it's like something different this is like a relationship you're not used to this is going to be very very different than what you are accustomed to and that may take some time to get used to it, it will feel there's a feeling of awesomeness yet there's a feeling of different so 
Yeah. That's what I'm getting with that. But we must. You see this hurts. This is pain. Heal. Completely heal. From this heartbreak that we have felt in the past. And you know some of that. You, you really need to really let it out. Um, let it out. Cry. If you need to cry, cry. Heal. You know, it's like storm clouds has been over. It feels like both of these people for uh, quite a bit of time. And it's like it's time to move away from this. I'm supposed to put that up there with strength. I don't know if you're seeing strength. Because you have strength within you. This is where this is leading. To a partnership. For some of you that could mean marriage. For others of you. You know romantic. True love. Life partner. Um, I'm not feeling. I'm not feeling. Okay. Okay reword I'm feeling this is a love relationship as well as a friendship um, I'm, I'm seeing the tower but I'm drawn to the foundation that tells me that you know this time around these people want something built on a solid foundation because it's like their structure has failed many times in other relationships but like I said, I do feel that this is love related, romantic related, um, not just a friendship. Yet I do feel the sense that these two will be friends, lovers, if this goes forward. Um, yeah, we all have free will. Wheel of Fortune. You know, it feels like that things are moving. They're moving in your favor. It's like you, you're you starting to see changes in certain areas because you've been working on yourself and you, you know, you may not, like I said, many of you did not know you're being guided to do so. Others of you, you know it. You look for it. You look for those signs. And um, the wheel is turning. It's turning in your favor. You know, there's a feeling that this, you know, good luck coming, um, moving forward, abundance. Some of you have kept yourself hanging in the past for too long. There's a need to let the past go completely. Forgive it. Let it go. Let's see the next card. Yeah. Stop letting it make you get in your head and take you three steps back. When you've made one step forward towards what you want in your life. For others of you, you know, it feels like this is you deciding, thinking about goals and decisions and having light bulb moments. For many of you, you're creative. It's like, you know, having these light bulb moments where your creativity is just, poof, it's coming out now. But like I said, you know, information, news, of some sort. Sagittarius need to know. See there? We get the Emperor. Okay. 
this is a higher power. But also, <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm getting it so different. This stands for a higher power, but also your person that's coming in, the one that wants to come in or the one that's already in your life that is so slow, they're an emperor. That explains why they're slow. You know, they're looking at everything. They're making right decisions. They're not going to take this lightly. And also, you know, the higher power is over this. Divine timing is over this. So there's no need in trying to control the outcome. But there is a need to let go of something. Something you are hanging tightly to. And it feels like it has to do with someone from the past. Someone who hurt you badly. It needs to be let go of. Because you don't want to be there. You want to be here. You don't want to be depressed. You don't want to be, you know, not a very good person. You want to be lovely, glowing, uh can grow anything flourishing you know and it feels like that's where you're headed and I'm leaving it up I'm being guided to turn this one up too I sent it out to show it's like this is where someone's headed to being do you see what this is do you see the perfect power it's like whomever is over here, you know, having a hard time moving away from the past. You know, once you do so, this is where you end up. And this is when things can go forward. Like I said, some of you, this person's already in your life. And you find, may find that they're very stubborn maybe even bossy, and they have their own, it's like, they're not budging. They, they may not show you how they feel. It's not that they don't feel it, but they're making, they're making wise choices because they want a solid foundation. Can you tell Sagittarius more? Is there more? Is there more? Is there more? Is there more? <laughs> okay well I'm drawn to the bottom stop looking at the past turn around now let's look at these beauties right here you want that wish have the strength and the courage within you to turn around and see that you have those lovely full cups behind you. And turn your back to the past. Because you're being offered what you want. Your wish. You're being offered what you want. That's a lot of love. But you have to turn your back on the past. What the angels have look, all my look, what did I tell you? Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. I'm not sure if they'll give us well, I was wrong. They give them. They give them. They give them. They're in the floor. <laughs> oh my goodness, I gotta get them. Okay, well, this one, this one is to the bottom. Release your ex. It's time to take your, take, it, the time has come to clear your energy. Plus, you need to take your life back. Okay, for what fell out? Oh, my heavens. Okay, okay, look at this. Past life. See, what did I tell you? And soulmate done fell out. 
children. Your love life is being affected by children. So that's, for some of you, there was children with this person. Or you both had children or something. There's something about children. This person may have children. There's something about children. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Now, I'm getting, okay, I don't have the card here, but, but what I'm getting is don't con try to control this, though. You can show if you feel something, but you're going to have to release this past, this ex. Past life relationship, you have known each other before. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. It doesn't actually completely mean engagement. It could mean that a higher level of commitment. Or, you know, if you're dating this person, once things go forward, then you make it into a commitment. Okay, we're going to see if they want us to have Gemstone Oracle for you guys and gals. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, please. For Sagittarius, please. For Sagittarius, please. For Sagittarius, okay, they give it to us. Give us quite a few, looks like. Okay, now, if you don't have these gemstones, the energy, if you claim this reading, the energy of these stones from these cards will be with you. So if you have faith, you just have to believe that that energy is with you. And you can meditate with it. With it, You can carry that energy with you. Obsidian. Beautiful. Topaz. I'm looking at the symbols. Uh, I feel like some of you may have um, like Native American in you or you know way back or um, yeah something you may have you know That's what I'm getting, Native American. Um, you may want, to, and it's like you know it, but it's it's within your blood, your blood line. Um, there's a feeling that um, you may want to look at some of their music or, you know, something of that nature. Um, well, like me, for instance, I have Cherokee back in my grandmother's side, and. Um, I know I like to listen to Cherokee, some of the Cherokee music. Um, yeah, so I feel like you're, for some of you, now that's not going to be for all of you, but for some of you. For others of you, you may have something else in your background that you need to look to that music. Amethyst. We got Topaz. Did I show you Topaz? I can't remember. I got lost on Obsidian. Beautiful. Sapphire. Gorgeous. Red coral. And diamond. Find my little book here. Okay. Obsidian. We will start with obsidian. The message of obsidian is to look within and to look to the earth for your answers and insights. Topaz. Be spontaneous and joyful, and know you are a spark of God. Amethyst. Awaken and rekindle the inner fire. Sapphire. All of your deepest hopes and dreams can come true. Yes, they can. 
You need to believe and have faith. Red coral. Remember that while our feet are upon the earth, our heart soars in the heavens. Beautiful. Diamond. Within you shines a spark of the brilliant light of creation. That is beautiful. Overall, this is a beautiful reading. It just comes down to choices. Making the right ones. Um, I suggest taking a step back and really analyzing your life. And, you know, look back on, like I said, you've been looking back at the past anyhow. But you're looking at just the hurts. There's a need to look back at patterns. Um, yeah. And uh, that's what I've got. If this doesn't resonate with you, don't try to make it fit your life. Just leave it. Go to a different reading and leave it. Only take away what resonates with your life. Because they're not gonna, these readings are not going to resonate with everyone. And um, do give it a thumbs up. That way YouTube sees fit to move it along. And I had some people comment about um, wanting to donate um, cards and um, wanting to donate towards the channel. And we are currently, my son and I, are working on that. And as soon as I get that information, um, I will start putting that in the, below the, reading itself on YouTube. Um, I forget what that box is called. <laughs> Description box. Duh. Okay. I will put it there and I truly appreciate all of you. I appreciate all of my subscribers, um, wonderful community, um, family. and You all are awesome. And, um, you know, I love your comments. Um, I may not say anything back, but I do read them. And, you know, I feel like that when I read comments, it helps me to, you know, possibly in some, in some cases pick up on someone's energy. In other cases, it helps me to just be able to have a sense of, um, Closeness with my community. And, um, yeah. But till next time, bye.